Whenever I think about a story like Pyramids of Mars, I always think, oh yeah, this is one of the best that Doctor Who has to offer. You have the best Doctor, the best companion, the best production team of the classic era, and a top tier Doctor Who villain, Sutek, voiced expertly here by Gabriel Wolf. One can be mistaken for thinking that this is your typical pseudo-historical for Doctor Who, but this is something more. The acting, the dialogue, the direction, I can go on and on and on. This is near perfection. The story revolves around the ancient deity, Sutek, who is immobilised. His plan is to use his own puppets in the form of Marcus Scarman and mummy-like creatures to help break a jewel on a pyramid on Mars, which is preventing him from walking. And you guessed it, the Doctor and Sarah land in 1911 and they have to try and stop him. It goes without saying, we have four episodes of sheer excellence. Tom Baker and Liz Sladen are on their A game here. This is one of those stories which demonstrated that these two were the quintessential Doctor Who team. Stephen Harris pulled out all the stops with the script here, so much so that he was just a pseudonym. It was actually Bob Holmes and Lewis Grater who did the handiwork. Who else could have come up with a clever dialogue other than the master of classic Doctor Who writers, Robert Holmes? There are so many moments in this to choose, which make this one of Doctor Who's greatest hits, whether it's the cliffhangers, whether it's all the stuff with Sutek, whether it's all the stuff in the Priory setting. For some, this may be the best story of all time. If not, Proofers of Mars certainly deserves a spot in the top 10. The reason why I think this sticks out from this era is because the stakes are very high. We get a glimpse of what Earth could be like if the Doctor did not help. As for the powers that Sutek possesses in this, it is very clear that this was a very powerful villain. One who could have defeated the Doctor very easily, and that is a terrifying prospect. Therefore, this is exciting. The gothic horror elements were a staple of this era, and the callbacks to the old Hammer horror films and things like The Mummy were suitable for this particular tale. It was translated on the screen by the excellent direction of Paddy Kingsland. Whether you call this story original or not, Pyramids of Mars is still such an enjoyable experience, which every so-called Doctor Who fan should behold. I love this more and more every time I sit down and watch it. You could say it is comfort, Doctor Who. Well, what are you waiting for? Go and watch this masterpiece. Mm -hmm.